In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an email signature in Canva and add it to Gmail. Now, people are having some problems with the signature being low resolution. I'm going to show you also how to get around that. So watch this video for a very basic step by step overview of exactly what you need to do. So first go to Canva.com and once you're here, create your free account. Now, once you've created your account, you can then go to templates on the left and you then want to search for email signature. Now, once you've done that, you will have all of the signatures available. Now, if you've only got a free version of Canva, I recommend you go to all filters, scroll down, click on the free plan here, and then click apply. And that will show you all of the templates you can use with the free version. Now, a good email signature is simple, it's easy to read. So to be honest, all of these tick those boxes, you can use any of them. For the example, we'll just use this one here that I shown you in the intro. Now we're gonna click on it, and you can also see more templates like this, but I'm just gonna customize this one. We'll go with this one for the video. Now, here's a very basic overview of how to use Canva if you've never used it. So every element here, you can click on and edit. So we've got text elements, we've got a shape, we've got an image, we've got another shape with icons, right? Now, let's say for example, we wanted to remove a specific icon and text. Let's say we didn't want to add our location because we're location independent, let's say, or we just don't want people knowing our location. We could click on any text and we can then click the trash can icon, so delete, or you can click on an object or text and click delete on your keyboard if that is easier. You can then drag and highlight things. So if I wanted to highlight this whole section, which I perhaps don't want, you can see how now everything in this section is highlighted. We can then delete that section. With text, if you double click on any text, you can edit it. So if we highlight this text, I'll change it to Bradley Harrison. And if I didn't like the font, again, we can highlight all of it. We can change the font up here. Now up here, you've got all of your text tools, including font sizing. You've got text color, bold, and so on. We're gonna change the font here to this one and that looks good for me. Now, if I wanted to, I could change the sizing as well, but we're not going to because that's fine. Here for the secondary text, I'm gonna change this to search-based YouTube channels because that's what I do. Now, you may notice when you make some changes, the formatting is a little bit off. Now, all we would really need to do here is just drag this text box because you can see now it's going from here to here, but really we want it going from here to here. So we'll drag this text box over here and there you go. We've now got this text sorted. And if we wanted to move this up or down and reposition it, you could click on it and you can move it with this tool here, or you can go to your arrows on your keyboard and you can be very specific with exactly where you wanna move it. You can move it pixel by pixel. Same with all of the text really, you can move it however you want with the arrow keys. Okay, so that's the text. Now we've got the image. Now obviously you don't want this guy on your email signature, so we can click on him. We can then click delete and now it just shows us the frame. Now the frame is used to snap an image into a specific shape. So we would now upload our own image and we couldn't put it on. To do that and to upload anything into Canva, you'd go to uploads on the left. And if you click on that, you can then click upload files and it will open up the file explorer window. From here, you can upload a picture of yourself. And in fact, you know what, we'll add this picture of a penguin just cause you can. Okay, so now we've got our email signature. We can also change the background as well with the background color. Just make sure you click on whatever you want to edit and all of the things that you can edit will come up at the top. You can also go into elements and I'm not gonna get too advanced into this, but you can add more shapes, more graphics, generate your own images, add stickers, photos, videos, and so on. Basically anything Canva has, it's all gonna be in the elements section. So you could find this useful. I would just go ahead and explore. But once you've got your email signature, you now want to download it. Now this is where some people are having issues because let me show you, if we go to share in the top right hand corner, we can then click download and we can download as a PNG, which is what you would think you would download it as to get the best quality, right? So now if we clicked on download, it's gonna then ask us where to download it to in a second. And we could download it into our downloads folder. And if we were to open this and check it out, you probably notice that it is so small and so blurry when we zoom in. Now I'm gonna show you how you can get around this right now using a very simple fix. So if you were to go to share, then download, you wanna change the file type to a PDF standard, then click download, and look how much this changes the quality. Then obviously download your PDF and open it. So now we can open our PDF. Now it should open in your browser. And from here, you can click on the plus icon and zoom in. And notice how that this time when we zoom in, the quality looks good. 
So now what we really need to do is save this image. So to do that on Windows, I will go to the search bar, I type in snipping tool, and this is just an easy way to do it. We can then go ahead and select the area. You might have to cut off like a couple of pixels from the border, but you can select the area and now you've got a very high quality image. You can now click save in the top right and then save it to your downloads. Now, if we go ahead and check out our downloads real quick and just refresh this, here is our updated screenshot. If we click on it, you'll notice that it is much more high quality than the other one. So now let's add this to Gmail. So inside of Gmail on the computer, it's very simple. You go to the settings in the top right, you click see all settings. You then wanna scroll down all the way to the bottom, scroll up a bit and you'll see signature. From here, you can go ahead and click create new, enter in a new signature name. This is just gonna be a name for reference. I'll just call it test. We'll then click create. Now here is your signature box. You can write out text if you want, but since we've already got an image, you go insert image. You then go Google Drive. You then go upload. And we're uploading the file just straight into Gmail. So click browse, find the file. So it's gonna be this screenshot for me, which we can double click on. It's then gonna upload it. It's very, very simple. I hope you're all following along. Click allow. And then we've got the image inside of our signature here. Now what I'd do is click on it and I'd change it to either medium or large size just to get the sizing right. You may have to customize this if the dimensions are slightly off. Then scroll down to signature defaults. And by default, no one's gonna actually see it unless you select it. So do you want new emails to see your signature? If yes, change it from no signature to the signature name. Same with people that reply or forward your emails. Do you want them to see your signature? If yes, change it to the signature name. Then once you're done, click save changes and your signature will finally be added. So if that video is helpful, leave a like and comment down below.